everybody, welcome to another episode of Blow the Bat Boys Corner. So we have former Major Leaguer Logan Kensing. Thank you for coming on. Yeah, no problem. You were drafted by the Marlins in the second round, 2003. What was your reaction when you found out that they drafted you? Uh, I actually didn't even know I was draft eligible. I, we in college, you have, usually have like a draft day party, and everybody goes to, to the, the locker room. And uh, I walked in, and a guy went before me, and then my name popped up, and I was like, "Oh, okay." Uh, I mean, I guess I was really excited, elated. I mean, it's one of those things where I don't think that was my goal, but uh, it just worked out to where it was blind luck where I played baseball long enough to get lucky enough to be there. On 2004, the Marlins promoted you to the major leagues. Can you tell us your call-up story? <laughs> uh, yeah, there was a hurricane that rolled through. We were just finishing. I think we had like three weeks left of the season, and a hurricane rolled through Florida. I was in high A, uh, and it canceled the rest of the season because it knocked down like half the lights at half the stadium. So I'd been at home for probably 20 days, hadn't touched the ball. Like that was my first full season of professional baseball. And I got a phone call, didn't answer it. Got another phone call, didn't answer it. Another phone call, didn't answer it. Finally got a text message and uh, it said, call us back. And it was ended up being our, our general manager for the Marlins. And uh, I had three missed calls and three voicemails that were people the, you know, of kind of a priority, I guess, to the Marlins. And so finally I called my scout back and I said, what's going on? He said, they, they need you to make a start in two days. And I was like, where? And he said Wrigley Field, and I was like, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, let me make some phone calls, and I went and did it. Uh, who was your first major league strikeout, and what was it like finally getting it? Oh, man. Uh, I can tell you who I gave up my first two home runs to. Uh, it was back-to-back -back home runs to Moises Alou and Manny Ramirez. Um, I think my first strikeout was Ty Wigington. But, uh, I, you know, that whole thing was just a huge blur to me. I I was probably physically ready, but I wasn't mentally ready for to be in the big leagues, so yeah. it was just like a grind just to get through every day. Well, you played for many different leagues and teams over the years. What are your favorite all-time teams? Uh, you know what? I, there's so many reasons that you like so many different places. I think uh, my favorite stadium is probably San Diego just because it's a great location, great field, the surface is good. Um, I really enjoyed my time in the Florida State League. I know that sounds really weird, but... Uh, you know, short bus trips, really nice complexes because you're playing in big league uh, spring training complexes. There weren't any fans there, but it didn't really matter. And that group of guys was really special to me because we, uh, that's the first time I really bonded with people not having like parents around and not being in college and you're on your own figuring stuff out. Uh, you're currently in the independent Atlantic League with the Somerset Patriots. What are you trying to do to get back to affiliated ball? I'm trying to do what everybody else is trying to do. You know, you just kind of, you go out there every day and you compete, try to show people that you're working on stuff and you still have stuff that can get guys out at any level and hopefully somebody's watching and uh you know see what happens what type of training do you do in the off season uh the training regiment we're on right now is pretty extensive we're going uh, four to five times a week uh there's a guy named eric cressy out there i know uh, the northeast has had him for a while um, he's a huge shoulder guy so he's put together a regiment he works guys like uh, Corey Kluber, Max Scherzer. There's a lot of big league guys and minor league guys that, you know, seek him out to find him. And um, luckily he opened a facility that's like three minutes from my house in Florida. So uh, it, uh, it's pretty strenuous. It's not, it's not always fun, but uh, I think the results have, have paid dividends. Last question, what advice would you give to a younger player? Oh, man. Uh, I, don't take it too seriously too early. I know these guys play travel ball year-round, and they'll play, you know, 300 games a year. But, I mean, go out there. If you're an athlete, you're going to compete. Go out there and play as many sports as you can for as long as you can and just have fun until it's time to get serious, which might be high school or, you know, maybe before. But, you know, just work your butt off, have fun, and let the chips fall where they are. Thank you.